So this is one of those games where you just wipe the footage and forget about it from both sides. At the end of the game, both me and the other goalie kind of looked at each other and were like, why were we there? Um, There's a lot of goals. There's a lot of really bad goals. This one was really frustrating too because I didn't feel like I played that bad. Like after the score was eight goals against, I made like 15 saves and they were all solid. And like before that, I think two banked off of me or one my teammate saved. But like the one, that one that banked off is proof of Warriors whole like outer roll thing. If that was that roll on the boot, it would have stopped it. And I kind of zoomed in to show that because the optics don't have a roll at all. Where are they? Um, they're basically totally flat, as you can see. And that is honestly what made a difference in that one goal. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but besides that, like, obviously I didn't want the ones that banked off me that were in, but like, it was a weird game where I was kind of happy with my performance, just like a few, and then they just multiplied and multiplied. And then we got a ton of goal support, which sucks too for me, just because I got goal support and we still lost because I let in a goal. So it was really rough, but it was, like I said, it was a weird game because I made a bunch of saves. I was really happy for, um, and it just didn't work on before that. The one I got lucky too, cause they hit a bunch of posts. Like the one guy who blew the first shot by me, blew another shot by me and just hit the crossbar and almost killed his teammate. And then blew another shot by me and just missed the net. And so like the guy has a rocket. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a weird one. Enjoy the goals. And one other thing I forgot to mention the last game, I went back to my true skates and the reason being is I found that I didn't have, I don't have explosiveness anyways because I'm fat and slow, but with the CCM skates, because of the flat profile and because of the awful steel, I was having a hard time like being able to push off from standing and from like moving around the crease. Everything had a little bit of like hesitation and I kind of had to transfer from being like flat to like into the movement. Um, so the trues, because they're more angle, just feel way more like athletic for me. And I feel like I have agility and I can just transition from standing to like moving. Um, so I went back to the trues for the last two games, this one and the one before I forgot to put in that video. Uh, I got Bionic Steel, or Bionic sent me Steel, so I'm really happy, thankful for that, um, that I got profiled and the profile is now on, it has a forward pitch to it. That way it will act more like the true skates. And I used it only once since I got it because these videos have been, like this, this game was like December 7th. Um, and I used it once and it was a huge difference. So that's why I'm wearing the true skates because I felt like I was lacking a lot of stuff like in movement and I wanted to go that go to them to see, or to kind of get that back and it, it helps. If you are making a purchase, anything hockey related and live in the United States, please check out the link in the description to Pure Hockey and Pure Goalie. Clicking that link, making a purchase gives me a kickback to help support the channel so I can keep making videos and doing more reviews. Otherwise, if you want to support me, whether you're in the US or anywhere else, check out the link in the description to Patreon and buy me a coffee. Everything from there will go right back into the channel so I can keep doing what I'm doing. All the gear I get is mostly paid for. And so if I want to do a long-term review, I have to pay for it. That's expensive. So it really helps out the channel. <laughs>
You're watching HockeyReviews.ca.